It's three and three. And T. Hi, I'm children's book author and illustrator Debbie Ridpath Hoey. And I'm Andrea Mack, an educator, children's book author, and book blogger. And we're excited to welcome you to the second episode of Three and Three and T. Each episode, we'll be recommending three books for young people written or illustrated by a Canadian. One picture book, one middle grade, and a third book that we've been reading. My tea today is Canadian Maple, a gift from a friend. How about you, Andrea? Mine is a green ginger tea with a note of pear. And now to our Three and Three. It's Three and Three and Tea. I am delighted to tell you about Malika's Winter Carnival, published by Groundwood Books. Author Nadia Hahn and illustrator Irene Luckbacher have created a wonderful picture book about a girl coming to Canada for the first time. This story will spark classroom discussions about family members being far away. It's a good one for retelling story events or drawing a story map. You could use it to compare and contrast details about the warm place that Malika comes from with the cool place she moves to. Check out my blog for more details and ideas for using Malika's Winter Carnival in the classroom. We are thrilled to feature the middle grade novel, Sorry for Your Loss, by author Joanne Levy, published by Orca Books. In this story, a Jewish girl whose family owns a funeral home develops a friendship with a boy whose parents were killed in a car accident. It sounds a little sad, and at times it is, but there are more lighthearted moments in this book too. This book answered some of my questions about funerals. And speaking of questions, I think it would be great for educators to create a question wall where students can post questions and answers about their own family traditions. This book shows how kids can help friends work through and learn to accept sad things in life. There's a terrific teaching guide for this book. Look for more details and links on my blog. Our third pick for this episode is the middle grade novel, Peter Lee's Notes from the Field, by author Angela Ahn, published by Tundra Books. There are also illustrations created by Julie Kwan. So fun to find a story that included dinosaurs and paleontology for older kids. The main character has to cope with disappointment when his big expedition doesn't work out the way he planned. That's a great discussion topic. When his grandmother gets sick, Peter uses his observation and note-taking skills to try to help. The field journal format just begs for a class assignment on creating your own field journal and making observations, maybe of a pan, family pet. Don't forget to check my blog for more teaching ideas for this book. Thank you for joining us in our second episode of Three and Three and Tea. Be sure to check out Andrea's blog for the resources we've mentioned. If you enjoyed this episode, we'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word about the books we've mentioned, as well as Three and Three. Until next time, keep reading.